Statements expected today in that long-awaited trial of the man accused of killing two teens in Delphi, Indiana, nearly eight years ago. Richard Allen is accused of killing Liberty German and Abigail Williams in February of 2017 after luring them to their deaths while they were on a hike not far from their home. After the girls were found dead, investigators released a grainy image of their suspected killer on the tracks. But it would be another five years before Allen was arrested and charged with their murders. During selection in the trial began on Monday. News Nation's Alex Capriello is following all these developments from the courthouse uh, this week. Alex, this case has taken years to finally reach a trial. Where do things stand now and what do you expect to hear this morning during opening statements? Yeah, it's unbelievable that we're finally at this point. Those opening statements scheduled to begin in about 40 minutes from now. The jury that has been called to serve their duty for this trial actually comes from about two and a half hours northeast in Fort Wayne, but they're going to be sequestered right here in Delphi for the next month while this trial plays out. We already know what some of the evidence uh, we expect to hear during these opening statements from the prosecution, as well as the defensive positions that Richard Allen's attorneys are going to be taking when that evidence is brought to the jury. First and foremost, an unfired bullet found at the scene of the crime. The prosecution says that this is an exact match to the gun that Richard Allen owns. But the defense will claim that since that bullet was never actually fired from the gun, there will be no ballistic evidence that can actually prove that it belonged to Richard Allen. Second, hair that was found on the bodies of those two teenagers found here in Delphi. The defense also claims that's not a match to Richard Allen. And then finally, confessions that Richard Allen allegedly made while in prison. The prosecution believes that this is going to be enough to actually send that guilty verdict home. But the defense will claim that Richard Allen made these confessions under duress while serving several months in solitary confinement. And he did not actually mean what he said during those confessions. We've seen some of those pictures of Richard Allen from prison, and it's very clear to see that he did not handle his prison time very well. This trial expected to last about a month. Marky? I can't imagine how charged that courthouse uh, is going to be through all of this. Alex, I know you had the chance to visit that bridge where the two uh, teens' bodies were eventually found. Tell us what you saw there and what it was like visiting that site. Yeah, uh, that walking trail, that bridge has seen some major updates since seven years ago when those two teenagers' bodies were found. First and foremost, it's no longer a gravel trail like we see in that grainy video uh, from earlier where we see the alleged suspect. Now it's actually a paved walkway. That bridge, no longer abandoned railroad tracks, that also has been paved. Perhaps uh, the most important update, though, were these new security cameras that we see actually hovering above that bridge where those two girls were found. Those were recently put in, also an increased police presence. In fact, one of the police officers gave us a ride in one of their new golf carts that they used to actually patrol that walkway. They don't want to see anything like this ever happen again. And, of course, there was evidence that people still remember these two girls. Uh, and, by the way, of memorials, multiple memorials that we saw, uh, stones, stuffed animals, flowers, uh, with the names Libby and Abby written just about everywhere we saw. Marky. Yeah, it must have been eerie knowing what happened there um, to see that for yourself. Alex Capriello, thank you so much. Live from that courthouse this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.